All right, so here we are. Uh, this is Mr. Frazier. I'm going to go over the quiz corrections. Please remember, uh, in order for you to get credit for the quiz corrections, you have to keep your original quiz. You have to write out the original question and show the picture. You have to have all the correct answers. And you also have to tell me what you did incorrectly to begin with. So when you look at this graph, the first thing you should be doing is putting a dot on the vertex and the coordinates. So you should know that that was 2, 8. Okay, then you'd go over here and you'd put the dot on the zeros. Okay, and you should know that those zeros are also known as the x-intercepts. Okay, so the one of them is 0, 0. It also ends up being the y-intercept. It's both. And then this one over here would be 4, 0. All right, so now uh, we go through and we do the domain, the range, the zeros, which we've already done. We just got to put them down here. So I go ahead and put that. And then the interval of increase, the interval of decrease, and this is when we have to use our interval notation. So that means you're supposed to follow how many x's could possibly be the answer, because the domain would be all of your x answers. And this answer is all real numbers, or negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? And remember, those are always in parentheses. The range starts at 8 and goes down for infinity. So that would be negative infinity to the number 8. And 8 has to be in the bracket because it includes 8. Then you have an interval of increase. An interval of increase is going from left to right. So we use the x values to describe my left to right movement. And this is increasing from negative infinity up to the number 2. So this would be negative infinity to 2. And these would both be in parentheses because it does not include 2. 2 is the maximum. So it stops at 2. It's not increasing, nor is it decreasing. And then the interval of decrease starts at 2 and goes to positive infinity. All right? And shouldn't have taken that long. Next one, problem two, means we're supposed to put a two in for this. So that would mean two squared minus four times two minus five, which is four minus eight minus five, which is negative nine. The problem was is it says, what is the vertex? The vertex would be two negative nine. This is only half of the vertex. This is only half of the vertex. Your vertex is a point. All right, next one. This is easy. This is parabola opens down because of the negative. Okay, And we learned today that that's actually a reflection. Okay, So we open down, downward. We also learned today that that is called a what? The three is called a contraction, right? That's where the parabola gets skinnier, all right? And then the x-intercepts are easy because they gave them to me. But remember, we're using the opposite. So it's negative 2, 0, and 4, 0, because they're always points. We had two parentheses when we started. My answer has to have two parentheses. <laughs> Last but not least, this parabola opens upward. And you also should know, not only does it open upward, but it is a contraction. That's what we learned about on Friday. And the vertex, it's in vertex form, is positive 3 because it's the opposite. It's in parentheses. And positive 4. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully, you do your quiz corrections. You turn it back in the day of the test because you should be studying this for the test because this would be the skills you have to know how to do. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day and thank you.